Colorado first tonight is the man arrested in Boulder this week accused of sending threats out to UCLA makes his first appearance in federal court. Matthew Harris is charged with threats in interstate commerce and now we are learning more about what led up to his disturbing and violent 800 page document. Tori Mason continuing our coverage of this troubling case tonight and Tori you were in the courtroom this morning. Yes, Karen, and Harris's lawyer brought up how he has a Ph.D. from Duke and has no criminal record. She also brought up his former position at UCLA, but his relationships there are part of why he's in custody today. The level of violence that we saw in the manifesto was obviously so alarming. The investigation into Matthew Harris began long before his arrest in Boulder. Last January, Harris began sending emails to his mother, threatening colleagues at UCLA. Those messages went on for months before she told campus police. His mother told investigators she feared what Harris might do to them in their sleep. A judge granted a restraining order in June, banning Harris from going near any California college campus and from possessing a weapon. That summer, he moved to Colorado and tried to buy a firearm three months ago. The arrest affidavit says Harris wanted to buy a gun from Silver Bullet Shooting Range in Wheat Ridge, but failed the background check due to that restraining order. Monday, he began threatening old colleagues again. California police pinged his phone in Boulder. Local authorities arrested him the next day. We identified thousands of references to violence, stating things such as killing, death, murder, shootings, bombs, schoolyard massacre in Boulder. On one page, Harris writes, make Columbine and 9-11 look like dress rehearsals. He's now facing federal charges. And in that affidavit, Harris wrote to his mother that his psychiatrist told him that he had schizophrenia. He's still being held in federal custody and his next court date is on Tuesday. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. All right, Tori.